Hello everyone. This is the time of year where the grocery store is full of winter type squashes. You know the acorn squashes and butternuts. The ones that have just been picked and they're just as good as they get. There's a lot of different ways to cook them and I want to show you one of our favorite ways. Now the first thing you do with these squashes is wash them in water, maybe a little vinegar or a little hydrogen peroxide or something, but make sure they're nice and clean. Wipe them off and then cut them in half. Uh, you can use like an ice cream scoop or something for the, the this will all be full of seeds, seeds and whatever that other stuff is. Uh, I like to use a big heavy spoon, uh, but you want to get all that scraped out, put it in the compost, put it in the trash. Until you get them nice and clean like this. This is a, uh, an orange colored acorn squash. This is this little miniature uh, kabancha type uh, that we got 12 of these things off of one plant. Just incredibly prolific. They're small but there was a million of them and they're very very sweet. And then over here is a spaghetti squash that we picked up up at the um, Asheville Farmers Market, WNC. Uh, spaghetti squash is the one that just looks like a squash, other than it's a yellow color. Uh, but when it's done, you can flake it with a fork, and it's just lots of strings like spaghetti. It has almost no calories, has a nice sweet taste when it's fresh, and does not give you all that starch that you get out of regular macaronis. And it is absolutely delicious. Now with, with the Spaghetti squash here, we just did a little salt and pepper, put a little olive oil in there. This is in a, um, whatever these things are called, so it doesn't stick, because we really don't want to eat off of aluminum. I hate to clean everything, so we'll use an aluminum pan, so we'll put this uh, paper underneath it. Then over here for the acorn, boy, she got really rich with the butter. Two big blobs of butter in each one. And same kind of deal, parchment paper, that's what this stuff is. Parchment paper. We're going to cook them in there. Now, since we can get higher temperatures out on the grill, we like to cook these out on the grill because the higher temperatures really make the sugars in here caramelize and it just tastes so good. Now, what you can do, because these are going to take an hour, hour, hour and a half to cook out here on the grill, uh, you can put them in a, a microwave safe type container and put them in the microwave and cook them for 10-12 minutes and that'll get them part way done as close to done as you want them to be and then you can bring them outside again and just to do the caramelizing at the end but these are just outstanding cooked all the way nice and slow you want to cook them around 350 for most of the time my grill will end up creeping up above 400 because I like all that caramelizing. So, once you have them in here in your pans like this, you want to put a little water in the bottom. Not a whole lot, but they'll cook better if you get a little bit of water down there. Kind of doing a, a, a steaming, steaming effect. So, I've got these two pans here on the grill and we'll come and check them and see how they're doing later on. These different squashes have been on about 35 minutes. And as you can see, the water's starting to boil down in there, so that's giving us some steamer properties. All the butter's melted. And just get a fork and push and you can, and you know, they're not even thinking about being done. So they got a whole lot further to go. But I didn't think they would be at this point. They're going to be an hour, hour and 15 minutes or so. But I wanted to see how they go as they're about halfway cooked. So we'll check in on them later. Alright, they're moving up on an hour. And they're still not done. Don't expect them to be. One thing on the spaghetti squashes that I always like to do is the bottom here is getting pretty much done, but the, out, the top is not done at all. So 
I'll turn them over and let them cook from the other direction. Usually, I'll turn these over too, which is why I was kind of surprised with all the butter in them. So I'm going to try and save the butter, turn these two over. We'll let them cook for a bit and then we'll swap it around because with the steam or whatever the heat comes up but you, you don't get much cooking here right in this top layer so you kind of need to flip them so both sides if you start them in the microwave you don't really have that problem but we've been trying to get away from cooking stuff in a microwave this is not that big a deal to do so these are moving right along plus by flipping these you can see they were starting to brown some on the bottom so they'll start cooking correctly now since they got a new surface to start with. So we're getting close to an hour and they're moving right along. It's been about 15 minutes. You're not going to believe the difference that flipping these over. I'm going to flip them both over and we may have to stop them in while the car across the way. Now, while I'm going to hold this, look how easy this fork pulls in there. These are now really really nicely done whereas these other ones are still pretty tough so we're going to pour the butter in that one and lay this one down pour the butter in there it doesn't all fit it's all right and lay that one down now let's sneak over here and see how these guys are doing. These are bigger, so they're harder to work with. Oh, they're browning up nice. And... Yeah, a few more minutes and these are all going to be done. So, about another 10 minutes and we'll show you the finished product. Apologize for the sound of the blower. There's almost always a blower in this neighborhood going. Now your spaghetti squash, when it's done, see how, it see how it just peels out. Just take a fork and scrape it out. Just amazing. And it's, oh, that is so good. So the, the uh, spaghetti squashes are done, as you can see. Then I turn this one over. And these guys should be nicely done. Yeah, you can tell they are, see? And I'm going to re-split up some of the butter. So, these are all very nicely done. So, time for everything to go inside. Um, we're going to eat some of these tonight and they do go in the refrigerator and reheat and are fabulous the next day and the spaghetti squash oh, I don't know what it'll be but it'll be good so here's one way you can cook your hard winter squashes you can do this in the oven just as easily as out on the grill we just like to take the heat out and put it outside and I like to cook them but winter squash are delicious very easy to cook. Cut them in half, clean them up, put a pat of butter in them and cook them. Give them a little water to give them a little steam bath. And they're done hour, hour and a half. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. We've got a lot more things coming up. And you'll want to be notified of them. Thank you for watching.